There are many things to enjoy in life. Sunny beaches, expensive food, vacations with beautiful people, but nothing really compares to the experience a yacht gives you. After all, what's better than an entire crew of people tending to your every desire on a floating island of luxury? Nothing if you ask me. However, there are some yachts that are just more impressive than others. Some yachts that have that extra touch of luxury, those extra couple hundred feet, that extra zhuzh. Today, I'm going to tell you about one such yacht, Topaz Mega Yacht now known as the A-plus mega yacht. Luckily for you, I can walk you through this fantastic yacht from my own personal experience aboard it. Let me take you back to 2014 when I was fortunate enough to spend an afternoon on the Topaz. First, let me paint the scene for you. It's the 2014 World Cup in Rio de Janeiro. The sun is shining, the celebrities are in town, and I'm on an exclusive list to join them for Leonardo DiCaprio's yacht party on the Topaz. The 400 183 foot yacht that dreams are made of. Though it was Leo's party, Topaz isn't his ship. That would hurt his environmental activist street cred a little too much. The yacht is owned by Mansour bin Zayed bin Sultan bin Zayed bin Khalifa al Nayan, or Sheikh Mansour as he's more commonly known for rather obvious reasons. Though you may have only heard of my pal Leo, Sheikh Mansour has the kind of wealth that makes Leo look like someone who should be in line at a soup kitchen. With a net worth of $30 billion, it's no wonder Sheikh Mansour could afford a ship as fine as the Topaz. Hailing from one of the six royal families of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Mansour's family has had wealth and power for generations, and he's certainly done what he can to add to that wealth. He owns a stake in Virgin Galactic, Sky News Arabia, several investment companies, and the most fun of all, Manchester City Football Club. Though I've never had the fortune of encountering Sheikh Mansour, I have to thank him for commissioning such an incredible yacht to be built back in 2012. It is simply one of the greatest ships I have ever had the pleasure of being on. The fifth largest private yacht in the world, the Topaz isn't available to be chartered. That is, unless you're Leonardo DiCaprio and it's the World Cup. To start off the evening, we all stepped onto the stunning ship. To say that it is massive is an understatement. The superstructure made of aluminum and steel seems to almost glow in the sun, and as it should, with an estimated 527 million million dollar price tag, the ship is actually almost double Leonardo DiCaprio's net worth. Sorry, Leo. Guess you can't win them all. Our first step led us to the lift, which can smoothly take you to any of the eight decks aboard the ship, but the most desired level of all? Naturally, the main yacht deck, where two of three pools are located and two jacuzzis wait patiently to warm the tired bones of exhausted millionaires. The whole deck was enough to bring a tear to a luxury lover's eye, with dozens and dozens of of beautiful white cloth lounge chairs, plush pillows, and light wood accents throughout. The whole area is full of several seating areas to choose from, which certainly came in handy if you didn't feel like talking to a particular person about their business ventures. I mean, I love talking business, but sometimes you just want to cut loose and get lit. And get lit, I did. I mean, poolside service with endless drinks in one of the largest hot tubs I've ever seen? You can use your imagination, but things got a little bit wild. Luckily, Topaz can hold 72 crew members at a time, which was definitely needed to keep the wild in check. The hot tub was crystal clear with a dark wood railing, just wide enough to fit drink after drink after drink. From my coveted spot in the warm water, I could look over the beautiful coast of Brazil. Even though the seas were rough around us, the boat seemed to barely even move. With top speeds at 22.5 knots, Topaz is equipped with state-of-the-art stabilizers, which ensured I didn't spill a single drop of my drink due to rough seas, though due to alcohol consumption is another story. But the exterior views and pools are just one feature of this lovely luxury ship. When I got enough of that hot South American sun, there was plenty to keep me occupied inside. The interior boasts several living areas with a cozy beach theme throughout. Picture this, stark white furniture against light wood fixtures with gold touches, a timeless, clean, airy theme that seemed to breathe luxury and comfort. Several people chose to gather in the onboard cinema for a quick movie, though I had other things in mind. 
the Gym Wing. That's right, there's an entire wing on the ship dedicated to fitness and health. With a sauna, brand new equipment, and showering facilities, it's like having a 24-hour fitness on steroids afloat on the open sea. After a quick workout, I journeyed down to the stern, where I heard the real party had begun. A large terrace on the stern serves as a launch point for fun, quite literally. The terrace has a set of stairs that allow access to the water, and a garage where the jet skis, inflatable toys, a catamaran, and a mini submarine are held. Since the catamaran was already out on the water, I opted for one of the jet skis and went for the ride of my life. There's nothing like having mini boats on your giant boat. But as all this fun came to an end as the sun began to set, I had obligations to return to. Though I was invited to stay in one of the 26 massive cabins aboard the ship, I was forced to head back to the mainland. For my return, I had a catamaran or a submarine as an option, but I opted for a helicopter ride back. Topaz has two helipads to choose from, one helipad on the stern and another on the bow of the ship. It seemed like the most obvious choice to take me back home. That $450 million price tag definitely shows from any angle, but there's something special about viewing this ship from the air as it chugs across the Atlantic below you. So there you have it, all the glorious details of Topaz, the finest luxury ship I've ever had the pleasure of sailing on. What do you think about the accommodations on the ship? Are they fit for a chic? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. And Leo, if you're out there, give me a call. I've got a few things to run by you.